Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Today we're going to talk about how to get the best POC programming training in the world. And I know that's a bold statement. There are a lot of great online and, and in-person trainers out there. I have met some of them and taken many of the online courses and, and taken several offline in-person seminars. So I know that there's some great instructors out there. Um, but let me ask you this question. <clears throat> how do you like your steak? Yeah, that's that's the question. How do you like your steak? And, the, and my point with that is to say some of us like it well done, some medium well. Some of us like it uh, bloody red. Some of us like it with a, with a marinade. Some don't like meat at all. And some like a nice spicy rub, right? We all like our meats differently. And on top of that... <laughs> Some of us, when they or when they ask questions about what you want as as your sides, you want your you know, uh, do you want chips? Do you want pasta? Do you want fries? Do you want coleslaw? What do you want for a side? What do you want for vegetables? What kind of drink do you want? Some of us want a craft beer. Some of us want a, you know a mixed drink. Some of us want diet Pepsi. Some want caffeine free free drinks. We all have a different taste, right? And we know that our our what how we like what we're going to eat. We also know how we best learn. Some of us don't like reading. Some of us don't have the time to sit for 30 hours worth of videos and watch them. You know, so we all have different uh, modalities in the way that we learn based on what we like. And that's what I'm going to start with to help you build a world-class PLC programming training course. But before I get into that, if you find this video useful at the end, go ahead and share it, like it, hit the bell so you're notified every single time we put out a video. All right. If you have questions, add it to the comments down below. All right. So why don't we go ahead and get started on this? I'll, I'll break this a good training, POC training program. I'll break it down and tell you how to build your very own world-class POC programming training course. All right. Sounds awesome. All right. So the first thing we, we are talking about is how do you like your steak? And it's real important because if you, you say you understand that we like our steaks differently, it is a great it's a great analogy to describe how we all learn. We all learn differently as well. We have different likes and different um, abilities, right? Some of us aren't the greatest readers. Some of us aren't the greatest you know, we don't have the most amount of time. We don't have an unlimited amount of time. Some of us are restricted by cost. We don't have a ton of money to invest into our training. So, um, it, you know, that's important. Uh, other ones of us come to this uh, training, this part of our career, with different knowledge and different experiences. Some of us come with 10 years of maintenance background where we've edited and worked with POC programs for over a decade. We just have never written one. All right. Some of us come to it with 20 years of supervisory experience and we understand electromechanical issues. Right. So we all come to this experience differently. We all have different likes and, and resources. And that's the important part is the first to identify that we are all unique. And it's very hard to take a, a 30 video training course and expect that to deliver everything to everybody. Um, it, there's more to it, and that's what we're going to talk about. The first thing is to understand that we all like our steaks differently. We all learn differently. We come to this this part of our career with different experiences, right? Okay. So the next part is with those different learning styles. Um, how is the 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 training delivered, right? So now you can take a 30 video training course and that's a, there's a lot of training courses out there like that. And there's, there's some live, some live work, very little of it, but I think that a, a great way to build a great training program is you kind of got to work one on one live with an instructor, right? Or you have to find somebody to partner with that will work with you once a week and, and, and work together in partnership to improve your your programming. It's very important. It, when it comes to instructor, 
you really need to get in like a group training program where there's only four or five people and the instructor works with you live one-on-one. -on -one. That's very important. And we'll talk about why that's important here in a minute. Um, and then you need to be able to have like some homework. Every week you're, you're committed to work and improve on something, some part of a programming um, training. You got you say, you know, I learned how to do this, so I'm going to spend, I'm going to follow the one to three ratio. What is that? You're going to spend one hour learning something, and you're going to spend three hours working on it and practicing it. Don't believe you did it once, and all of a sudden that's all you need. That, that that's going to be adequate because it's not. It's far, far from adequate. So what I think, what I believe, my experience is you need to be able to take what you learn, do it, do it several, many, many times, then break it, change it, do it with a HMI screen, do it on a different platform. Do you pr take that, uh, that piece of knowledge that you've learned, print out a PDF, make your notes. What you want to do is make sure that you know that knowledge inside and out. And you won't be able to do it by doing it just a couple of times and, and, and believe that, well, when I need it later on, I'll just have time to look it up. Because you won't. You need a one to three ratio. And I say do everything I said. Take it, break it, different platforms, HMIs, PDFs, just tear it apart. And then and only then will you really be able to say you know that material. Okay. Um. Email. Email is crucial in, in business these days, and it's most certainly crucial in the automation um, engineering field. So you, if you have a relationship with the instructor, you want to be able to shoot emails back and forth, and maybe they can send you some PDFs, right, some links for, for resources or references. Email is another great tool to deliver training, right? And, of course, video. So when you get the videos, download them, save them to a file that you can refer back to on occasion, especially while you're working through the one to three ratio of learning um, so that you can you have that, that record of training. Now, we know how, what tools need to be delivered, um, but there's, there's, there's another part to this whole training program, and that is the training components, right? All right, so we talked about how it could be delivered, right? Some live training, some desktop sharing. You know, we need to have some homework, some things we're committed to, right? It's committed to on that one to three ratio. We, we, we know that we can, we can reach out and email people and get some resources and some help there. And of course, uh, downloading and creating a video reference file. But we understand that we need, and this, this, these three components really take three parts. There's three parts to it, and that is but you got you got to understand the material that you need to learn. I would say get a curriculum, start tip marking down that list what you know and understand what the things that you need to learn. All right, and and ask yourself have I have I followed the one by three ratio in learning this material? Very important. If you don't, you're just hurting yourself. Okay. All right. Now, a, a good training component needs feedback. I do the work and somebody's got to look at it and give me their opinion. You can use an instructor for that or you can find somebody to partner with who'll do the same thing for you and you do the same thing for them. All right. So you got to have some feedback. Somebody's got to look at what you're doing and give you some feedback. It's very important. It's not enough to just watch a video and you do it because then all actuality, you're probably doing it wrong. Okay. You need somebody to look at it and say, ah, change this. This is why this didn't work and give you some feedback. Very important. The additional, the third component is accountability. You got to make and keep commitments, right? How can you do that, right? How can you build accountability in your training program? It's real simple. You can you can give up uh, progress reports, right? Just like in school. So you've done your homework, you sent out your PDF, and they took a look at the PDF file, and they're giving you that feedback, and you commit to doing that once a week. Once a week, I'm going to do my work, and I'm going to have somebody look at it. Give me that feedback, and I'm going to make a commitment. And when they, I don't keep that commitment, I want them knocking on my phone, uh, email, and on my door and saying, hey, why didn't you send me your, your progress report? Why didn't I see any work that you completed? Because then you have this sense of, hey, I guess somebody's going to kind of hold me accountable to doing my work and when I don't they're gonna let me let me know it you know so it's very important I and I really suggest that you take a good solid three months 
and make a good commitment. Give it a friend, find the instructor, hire somebody and get that personalized, customized uh, training that you need. A 30 video course by itself is generally, it's not adequate enough to prepare your you for the real world. So how can I help, right? How can I, Paul at Logix Magazine, how can I help? Well, I, I can offer to help you build a customized training program for you, right? And what, what does that look like? What is that? Well, you got to understand where you at. How do you, how, what is your learning modality? What is your time and cost, knowledge and experience? Those factors need to be built into a proper training program, right? Then we got to talk about how do you, what's the best way to deliver it? So you have desktop sharing where I, I can watch what you do on your desktop live. Look right over your shoulder and, and coach you, uh, along that way or, um, Additionally, you have the video course options. You know, you have videos that you can you can uh, uh, watch as well. So um, that's important. Um, homework. It, there's nothing more important than you making a commitment, holding you accountable, and then you produce uh, that that file that shows that you've done the work and send it to somebody, and they give you your feedback. I think that none of all of this may, should make complete sense to you, but I think the value that this video brings you is that is that you be able to look at your learning program, training program that you're uh, building uh, using right now, and try to identify what components am I missing? Do I have good teaching, and does it come from a place from where I'm at? Do they understand my experience and knowledge? If not, fill that. Second, feedback. Am I getting any kind of feedback? And, you know, sometimes it's just having a friend. Maybe you use Messenger or email or phone, and you have somebody to talk to about and share your your um, your training with, right? It's very important. And who's holding me accountable? If there's no accountability, I assure you, you're not performing to the level that you, you probably should be performing, and you know that, all right? All right, so... And then, and then finally, I would say you need to make a good three month commitment. If you're not going to make a commitment, then you're going to find that you're going to learn the things you need to learn to keep getting pushed out and pushed out and pushed out. And it's going to be longer and longer before you reach your goals. So if you enjoyed this video, you thought it, think it brings value, you'd like to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when we put uh, out a video. And if you have any questions, or would like me to um, have a conversation with you about how to build your own customized program, uh, training program, by all means, put your, uh, put your contact info down below and uh, we'll reach out and we'll chat with each other, all right? I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep programming, my friends.